Now look, I'm not saying I've willed something into being here. I'm not saying that I've heralded something new and exciting, but not even four days ago. Well, technically four days ago. It was on Friday. We talked about how cool the Martis is. We talked about how awesome he is, how cool the sculpt is, and what do we see today but a new Lamartis and a new Astarath the Grim. But before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Warmag. We're going to talk about the four was of Warmag. The who, the what, the why, and the how. Number one, who? Warmag. We just said Warmag. It's Warmag. Two. What? Warmag is a magnetic transportation and storage system for your miniatures. Three. Why? Because sometimes you've got to take your miniatures places. You've got to take them to tournaments. You've got to take them to events. You've got to take them to painting competitions. You've got to take them just to your mate's house for a good old game. Four. How? I'll show you. It's super easy. You take a really useful box. You take one of Warmag's base sheets that comes in a variety of different colours and designs. Then you take one of their magnets that sits within the base of your miniatures so that it sits nice and flat on the tabletop. Look at that, nothing sticking out. And you go like this. And then you put your other miniature in like that. And then you take your other one like that. And just like that, you're ready to go. Follow the link below to check out Warmag. And remember to bookmark their website. It's going through a huge update and upgrade very soon. Thank you very much to Warmag for sponsoring the video. Now let's get on with it. So, embrace the Red Thirst in a new Blood Angels Codex and Army set. So we've got a classic Codex and Big Box on the way. Bit of Big Box action. And, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's extremely what you'd expect, I guess, if you were just going to go full Death Company. Which, by the way... I, I love that they're like that is the that is the flavor that's what they've gone with that's really cool they could have just made them all red which would have been fine because you know blood angels but no but no they went they went for a particular flavor they leaned in hard for that flavor and it is unapologetically death company which is fantastic what is also I think mostly fantastic, is Lamartis. Lamartis, Guardian of the Lost, he's back. He's back in black, and I have to admit, I have to admit, I have a big soft spot for this. This is this is the, the current sculpt, and I really, really like it. And one of the things that I was a little bit worried about if they were to ever update it was if they just fully went, if they went full Cotias, right? If they just decided, nah, we're going to do something totally different, that sort of thing. That's not what I was after. They haven't quite done that. I think a lot of the biggest, like, the, the biggest things are still there. They're still there. We've still got the, the, the cool skull helm, although the helm being open, like the mouth being open, I have to admit, I'm not enjoying that quite as much as the, as the current one, but, but, at least it's not a Reaver skull, so that's something. It's it's more skull-esque than helmet-esque, which is fine for me. Fine for me. Also, still got a bit of that, like, halo thing going on over the skull, so that's cool. I think also the fact that they painted his eyes green instead of blue, that's throwing me off slightly. But I don't know why. Shoulder pads, fine. A little bit dull, but mostly okay. I will say, a significant change that I'm liking a lot, the iron bands around the armour... So you got them across the chest, you got them across the shins, across the, uh, like the... I always want to say, I want to it's like say Van Brace or Grieve, but I don't know which one it is. The stuff over the, over the wrist. And yes, you will have corrected me on which it is many times, but I cannot retain information. I'm like a negative sponge. Things just fall out of me constantly. That makes it sound like I have some sort of severe intestinal issue. That's not true either. I think, I think it's a decent update. I think it's a decent update. There are things lacking from the old one that I would have liked to see kind of brought up to date. For instance, there's quite a lot of, like, parchment going on on the old Amalities, which I really, really like. I do like the kind of wrapped around cloth and paper. That is cool. And there isn't really any of that on the new one. But we do have the added detail of those iron bands that kind of, like, they give this really good feel of anchor points for like chains and stuff like being being locked up which you know big thing with death company i don't dislike it i would have just liked a little bit more parchment going on i actually think the actually that skull shoulder pad is cool and is very reminiscent of the old one in fact i think that might be just one to one pretty much or as close as yeah maybe not one to one but definitely still very cool and if anything i think i prefer the execution on the new one to the old one Another thing, not as many purity seals as I'd like. That's quite a big thing. Loads of purity seals. I do like loads of purity seals. There's pretty much none here, which, I don't know. I, I think, 
I think the more purity seals the better, but again that might just be a holdover from the previous one. I don't think this is a bad model. I quite like it. I quite like it. I think some of the personality has been lost somewhat with some of the changes, but at least it's not like a completely different... Like, I think that's still recognisable, right? Also, the Crozier is a bit different, which is kind of fun. It's a unique one now. I think the old one was just generic, right? Oh, no, you still had the cup on the top. You know what? How long has this miniature been around? And I never noticed it was a cup. A chalice. Sorry, not a cup. A chalice. I think it's a bit more obvious on the new one. I actually quite like that new one. That new one looks good. I also like the balance of the bolt pistol a bit more. That's quite cool. The new jump packs do look decent. I do like the new jump packs a lot. The added detail that look like control flaps and stuff. That that works for me. I think that's a cool touch. Definitely, definitely different. But I think still... I think still recognisable. I think the key elements are the same. I think little touches like the shoulder pad make a difference in terms of keeping it consistent. Yeah, I think we've also got, yeah, we've still got the skull on the knee pad as well. The Crozius is different, but it's very similar thematically. Yeah, there's some definite, like, chopping and changing, shifting around of elements on the newer one, but I think it's alright. I think it's alright. I think the main thing is that they haven't done a Kotiaz. They haven't taken him and made him look like something that he just didn't resemble before. Like, there isn't such a vast difference between the old and the new. I think there's still recognisability there, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's all right. However, however, we also have new Astaroth the Grim, right? Now, this, they've basically just gone, yeah, the old one was cool, let's make it again. I mean, it's not that dissimilar. It's really not that dissimilar. <laughs> I mean, look at that. They really have just brought it up to date. They really have. The pose is a bit more dynamic. Even the pose is pretty much the same. They've made the wings more spread out, which is actually a touch I quite like. I think I prefer that to the old one. They seem to be a bit more dynamic, even though they're pretty much the same, pretty much the same sort of feel. They're not quite as... There is a difference, right? So you've got like a kind of this sweeping curved inside to the wings, which you didn't have on the older one. But I think it works quite well. It makes them a bit different from the Sanguinary Guard wings now. They just have a little bit of a different feel to them. The armour is very, very similar. They've not chickened out on covering it in skulls again. Which, I mean, is one of the sillier elements of the old model. The fact that it's... I mean, it's like the flayed flesh combined with a bunch of skulls all over the shop. They've not shied away from that. They've kept that very consistent. Like, of the two, they've clearly decided that Astrath needs to be pretty much the same. Not taken anywhere near as many, like, swerves away from the original model. The big reams of parchment are gone, which I think is a shame. Like, I actually I actually do think that's a pity, because I thought that added a lot to the old one. Then again, the scaling on both Astrath and Lamartis are... It's technically a bit better now, because they've been bulked up to primary scale, so maybe it's just they didn't need that to get the extra height required. He is now on a bit of generic rubble, and I think the parchment was a little bit more... There was more personality to that. I think there was quite a bit more personality to that, to be fair. But the rest of the model is really, really good. I mean, how could it not be? They've basically taken the same thing. They've done the thing that, frankly, I like when they do. When it's a proper old classic sculpt that looks super good, and it's just a case of it being a bit lower in terms of detail. You know, the sculpt isn't as crisp as the newer stuff. They've done what I like them to do, which is to just, you know make it newer and they've not changed very much lamartis not so much but with this one yeah that's pretty much what they've gone for and i think it looks quality not as many purity seals again i mean even from other angles that is kind of highlighting how cool that is i, I do like that i think of the two i think astrath is the one i'm really liking i think he's the one i'm really liking the most out of the two feels a lot more true to the original miniature it feels a lot more kind of i don't know this just it, it feels like they just didn't shy away from it you know they just leaned in leaned all the way in and when it comes to something like this fun that's kind of what i want you know there's new upgrades and transfers as well so an absolute ton of extra gubbins to throw onto your lads to make them all blood angel-y and then finally giving rules for death company dreadnoughts like brutalis Death Company Dreadnoughts, uh, yes, 100% yes, more please, yes. Also, I don't know if that's new or old art on the Codex, but it looks quality. <laughs> that is actually some really nice art, I like that a lot. We'll do one last comparison before we stop, so we've got new Lamartis, old Lamartis. I think in this specific instance, I'm still leaning towards the old one, 
but the new one is cool and does have some fun elements that I really like. Specifically the metal banding around the armor, that looks fantastic. I do think the skull helm does look good. And actually the open mouth thing, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. It's growing on me a bit. It helps that he's got the full on vampire fangs, that's helping a lot. Could definitely use more paper though. Could definitely use more paper. More paper please. And Astrath is grand because he just looks like the old one. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's, it's not quite the same model, but it's, it's... They've done the thing. They've updated the guy. They've made him all fresh and clean and sharp and, you know, high high def, if you want to put it that way, which you probably don't because that'd be stupid, but you get what I mean. I like it. I like it. So there you go. New Lamartis. New Astrath the Grim. A new box for the Blood Angels, except they're all wearing black because they've leaned heavily into that element of the chapter, which is fantastic, and I like the fact that they've done that. Let me know what you think of those lads in the comments down below. Thank you once again to Warmag for sponsoring the video. Check them out in the link in the description and in the pinned comment, and I will see you for the next one. <laughs>